Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Fox Android. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to implement uh, Google Ads, the AdMob Ads, into our Android application. So this can be used if you have made a free app for the users, right? And you want to commercialize it using the Google Ads. So there are uh, different type of ads you must have seen in different apps. So today we'll learn how to implement that. So first, let me show you what we're gonna get by the end of this tutorial. So if I open my mobile screen. So you can see in the bottom side of this activity, there is this banner ad, right? It's written test ad because I have added, added the test ad. I have not added the actual ad. So that that might lead to some invalid activity to my ad mob account, right? So I've added the test ad. So this this is the first ad we're going to implement to our app application, right? And the second ad is the interstitial ad. So if you have seen into many apps, you click on something, you uh, make some action. So before uh, that action gets completed, before that some ads pops up. So when you close that ad, the action is completed, right? So there is this button interstitial ad. So this button is for going to the second activity. So if I click on this button, so you can see there is this interstitial ad. This is an interstitial test ad right so if i close this we move back to the second activity so we'll be implementing these two ads in this application we'll learn how to implement that so without wasting any further time let's get started So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So for adding the uh, ads to our application the very first thing is we need to make add an app into the AdMob account. So you have to go to this link. I'll be providing this link in the description. Don't worry about it. So the very first thing is if you haven't made account in AdMob, make sure to sign up. I already have accounts, so I'll sign in. So once you are signed into Google AdMob, so here is this apps tab, right? If you click on this and click on this add app, so we'll add an Android app so for the timing this app is not listed on the play store so i'll check no press continue so give a app name whatever you want right i'll just type in test app just click on done So now our app has been added, right? So we'll click on this add add unit. So there are these different types of add units. So we'll be implementing two banner ads and the interstitial ads. So we'll go to select banner ad. I'll just simply type banner. So you can see there is this uh, app ID. This is the app ID will be using this and there is this banner ID right the banner uh, ad ID will be using these things you click on done now I'll add another unit go to interstitial ads just name it randomly interact so now we have got the uh, ID right for the interstitial ad as well so I click on so now we have created an app and we have made two ads like banner ad and the interstitial ads. So that is it for the for this thing. We'll be using these IDs at the later stage of the app tutorial, right? So now we'll go to the official documentation of the ad pop, right? So here is this official document. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to add this dependency to our Android application. So I'll simply copy this. Just paste it, paste it here. So okay guys, sync is completed. So up 
so that we have to add this metadata to our manifest file so i'll simply copy this go to manifest dot manifest so here we need this metadata so you can see this is the application id so the application id will be generated here We go to app setting this is the app id right so we need to paste this id there but for now this is the test id provided by the google so for testing purpose we will use this id i'll put it here right and the second thing we need is we need to define certain permissions the very first permission is the internet permission the second permission that we need is access network network state right so that is it for the manifest file now we go back to the documentation so if we go to this banner ads get started so you can see the very first thing we need to do is we need to add this code to our xml file so i'll simply copy this code Go to our Android application. Go to main activity dot xml. So I'll add this code here. So here you can see at the bottom of the activity, the add banner has been added, right? So that is it for the front end. Now we'll go to the Java code. We'll modify the Java code. So here we'll make one method load app. You can directly write it in, into the onCreate method, but I do not like to mess this up. So we have uh, created this method, load add, right? So we'll go back to the documentation. So here, here you can see the very first thing is we need there. So we we'll simply copy this and put it here. So we have to import this class. Simply press Alt Enter. And now we have to add this code as well. We'll simply put it below this code. So we need to import certain classes on the internet. We have to uh, make this visible. So that was it for the banner ads, right? So this is what we need to do for the banner ads. So let me quickly give you a gist of it. So this ID, you can see this ID. We need, finally we need to put the ID of the ad unit. We go to ad units. So you can see this is the banner ID, right? Banner ID, this one. We need to put it here. Once we are done with the testing, we are doing it for the final production right we need to put it here and and here is well. so right now we are using this test id is provided by google so now we'll quickly uh, install this app and check if it is working fine or not right okay guys the app has been installed so here if you can see that this test ad has been added this banner ad has been added to the bottom of the activity so we have successfully added the banner ad. Now we'll add this interstitial ad. So for the interstitial ad, we need not to do anything in the front end part. So if I just go to 
for this as well so we'll add the uh, interstitial ad programmatically so once the user click on this button we'll call that ad right so the interstitial ad will be called and it will be shown so once the user click on the close button it will go to the second activity so here is the ID of this button so we'll go to the this Java code so we'll make the button variable write down the code in this load add method only So if we go to this interstitial ads, so first we need to define this variable. So we'll import this class. So the second thing is this code so we'll put this code here right so here we have just made the object of the interstitial add class so after that we need to build the add using this line of code So now till here we have just built the ad, the ad is ready. So now we need to show the ad, right? Notice we need to show it to the user. So what we'll do is I just go back to this code. So you can see uh, inside the on click listener of the button, we need to implement this code. So if I copy this. Put it here. Let's simply do it this. We not you know. We do not need this log. So let me explain. So inside this, we have checked if the interstitial ad is loaded. That means the ad has been successfully loaded. Then we'll show the interstitial ad. Else, what what we'll do is we'll simply perform the action that is intended for that button right? so for this button we need to go to the second activity so if the ad is not loaded successfully we'll go to the second activity main activity dot this second activity dot this right let's start the activity right so if the ad is loaded, we'll show the ad by calling this show method. Otherwise, we'll go to the second activity, right? So now what we'll do is, so once the ad is shown, so the user can do a lot of things with that ad. The user can press, click on that ad or the user will click on the cross button. So if the user click, clicks on the cross button, what we want to do is, we'll perform that action that is intended for that button, right? So for that, what we'll do is, we need to override certain methods so here we will override one method on add closed so this method is called when the user closes the ad right so now we will we have to perform this action once the user clicks clicks on that cross button so we'll paste it here so that was it for the interstitial ad right so this is how the interstitial ad will be added so what we have done is we have just made the object of the interstitial ad then we have passed the ad unit id this is the test ad unit id we will put the 
for the original app unit ID once the app is finalized. So then we have built the app and inside the on click list now we have checked if the ad is loaded will show the app otherwise will perform the action. So if the ad is loaded we have override this on ad closed button. So we have done the this action right. So now one more thing is pending I guess. So in this second activity we have that second button. So I'll quickly write down the code for that as well. So in this second activity, if I just quickly go to layout, second activity. So there was this button. So what we have done is we have made sure that if the user presses this button, he will go to the first activity. So now I'll quickly install this app and check if this interstitial ad is working perfectly fine or not. Right? Okay guys, the app has been installed to the cell phone. So you can see the banner ID. So now if I click on this button, so here you can see this interstitial ad so i guess the network is slow that's why it's taking some time so you can see that this is an interstitial test ad right so this is the close button so if i click on this we go to the second activity right so we have successfully implemented the uh, ad mob ads right so if you have to submit this app to the play store what you need to do is you need to do certain things the very first thing is you need to change this app id with the original app id right the second thing you will be doing is you need to change this add unit id with the original banner add unit id and these add units you need to modify with the original ones so that is all you need to do right so if you want to submit that so i guess we have successfully implemented this banner ads and the interstitial ads and i hope you understood the code so if you understood the code and like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section or you, you can dm me on instagram i'll be more than happy to help you guys so that was it for today's video see you in another video bye